Let's continue playing Valkyria Chronicles. When we last left off, we had recaptured the town of Brule, but the Empire has amassed for a final assault. Or at the very least, a grand assault to draw out all of our forces, in the hopes that they will destroy us and win the war that way. Either way, critical battle. To begin with then, we're going to go to the headquarters and we are going to go and do our usual start of start of um, episode things. To begin with, we have the... We'll do it back reverse order, really. Audience all up, and then we'll sort things out from there. So, medals! Give me medals. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. For your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award. Thank you, your highness. And we get... Another gun! I believe it's the same type we've already kind of got a few of. But it's additional copies, so we can have additional scouts with... Oh no, they're the Galleon Freeze. Ah, these are, these are different ones. These are better things. So Hazar, we'll sort that out in the squad menu when we get that far. So, uh, the War Cemetery. Let's see if there's any more orders we can learn at this stage. I'll teach you mortar support today. Use it to request them. This could be useful. Well. I think that's well worth the experience points to bring in a mortar. Very good. I hope. The old man knows how to call a mortar strike anywhere in his vicinity. That's slightly worrying in his own way. Um, Castle Front Street. This is the term where we are doing chapter 13, where there is a bonus chapter here. Historical artifacts stolen. So, no, no, I'm, I'm going back. I want to get back to the front at the moment. Come. But, okay, fine. But historical artifacts have been stolen. I'm going to just check that again here because, you know. That's interesting to me. Hmm. Two artifacts of an unknown age released last year from a dig site in Barrius are said to contain exceptionally pure ragnite. The lance and shield of the myth of the Valkyra has been stolen. That feels slightly um, so. ominous. But we shall see about that later. Oh, wait, I've just noticed it was there. Alright, uh, R&D. Hello, Leon. We need to develop weapons if there are weapon developments to be had. Accuracy boost 7. We haven't quite got up to... An... No, we've been solid B and B rank for a while now. You know, we still got quite a lot of gun levels to go. But we'll go to the Galleon S10s. Machine guns, we'll keep going. Oh, we're actually out of that. That's fine. Anti tank lances. More firepower. Unfortunately, these I don't think ever gain a real accuracy boost. <laughs> Sniper rifles, no change. Flamethrowers, no change. Hand grenades, no change. Uniforms. Yes, we have a uniform upgrade. And that means there'll be a blast suit upgrade at the same level. Yep. Okay. So we're done there. Now it's just the Edelweiss and Shamrock. And again, I'm mostly going to stick with what I've got on the Edelweiss for the moment. Um, in fact, this doesn't seem to be anything I can buy right now anyway. So ignore that. The Shamrock. The Shamrock, in theory, has, has attack slots I can still put on, but apparently there's nothing I can put on there for the moment. Come back again. The only thing I'm thinking of is when we go to the squad barracks in a little bit is that I did pick up a tank ace upgrade, which I guess I have to equip there. Whoa. Welcome to the worst nightmare. Trainer. And what we're going to do is we're going to, for the sake of doing it, put the engineers up to level 11. You're then see how much experience points we've got left. Arguably, we don't need to do this. We haven't used engineers an awful lot anyway, Good. but now if we do... They're going to be level 11. They're going to be classed up. Hopefully they'll be have a massive improvement to things. Class up! Congrats. 
Okay, so the engineers are elite, and we're going to raise the scouts up another level because we've got enough points to do that. Fight! And the scouts are always useful to basically do battles in quick time, so, you know, scouts increase is definitely Good. worth it. No new orders or potentials or anything else there. So, from there, we just have to go to the squad barracks and we'll see what we can do with our new weapons. So, welcome! So, there's your orders. In fact, we're missing quite a lot of orders looking at that. And those are his current potentials. He doesn't get bonuses because he's not, um, his tank commander staffing. And there's probably no point in equipping him with any of those anyway. Uh, like, Alicia. So we can now upgrade you from the Galleon 1R to the Galleon 3R, which, as you can see, is just a direct damage upgrade. Which makes sense. And Melville... It, who is this with the other one? Or have I just not given anybody it? I'm not giving anyone it. As you can see, it's got less range than the, um... Than the S10s we're currently using, but... For all that, I'm going to give Cheery the other one, then. As long as I'm aware it's got slightly less range, that'll be fine. Okay, you are currently using the Mags 1R, which is fine, I think. And is actually an upgrade based on most things there. You are using a different flamethrower, but I think, yeah, that's deliberate because it does far more damage. Right, you are going to go with the free... Oh, we have an aim upgrade, but it does less damage to armor. Only marginally. I think for an aim upgrade, we can afford to take that. And Jean... Additional range. That's too much of a hit. So I think that's overall as we want it. So with all that taken care of, and seven minutes into the video, let's start some plot-related stuff and things. On the eve of battle. After wresting it from the Empire's control, Squad 7 left Bruel for Nagyar, the stage for this war's grandest battle. Even as they traveled, an increasing number of soldiers streamed into both camps. Both sides braced to feel the brunt of the other's army in the fight for all of Gallia. General, as I've said a hundred times now, I strongly recommend a change of tactics. With the disparity in numbers, it's lunacy to send the Gallian forces on an all-out attack. We'd stand better chances centered around our defensive holdings, fending off advances. The enemy have gathered in one place for us. We can't let this chance slip by. If we win this one battle, we'll be able to kick those imps out of Gallia for good. General, we lack the manpower to break through an enemy force that large. If we're short on soldiers, why aren't you out drafting more farmhands for us? Do you honestly plan to let our countrymen die needlessly out there? When attack, if not now, Varat, we will win this battle. We must. This battle's gonna go well. You can tell we'll already. Everything Gali has got at them. A few casualties are going to be inevitable. <sighs> if you've got time to sit there fretting, Go light a fire under those yokels of yours! Understood. I will do my best. Uh. Sorry I'm late. We deploying? We're still on standby. I'm figuring we'll get the order to move out a bit past noon. Gotcha! Is everybody ready to go? As ready as we can be. All set and waiting for the word. But it sure looks like the enemy's got us in numbers. They do. The invading front's nearly all here. This one's gonna be a major battle. I've made my peace with it and all, but... Seeing them all lined up out there is... Heavy. Guys, can I say something? Um... I grew up in an orphanage. I don't have a family, and I always thought I was alone. But Welkin showed me I was wrong. That I wasn't alone at all. Not anymore. 
the Sevens are... You guys are my family now. The squad's your family. We kind of established this already, a big but... battle like this, it's scary. I figure I feel just like all of you do. But when I think I'm here alongside my family, I feel strong enough to fight. Family, huh? My old folks are gone, and I got no siblings, but... I bet this is what it's like. Of course, any siblings of mine would have grown up a lot better acting than you lot. Ah, you heard Sounds hard to say it, but you're right. And I bet Isara's watching over us all. All right. Let's go do this. Yeah, let's go put holes in those tanks. Yeah, then let's all come back here together. We'll get through this fight and see Galia free again on the other side. All good. New episode has been added. The Iron World Valkyrie. Yep, we're gonna have to fight her again. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's see how this goes. Your Grace, all troops have arrived at Nagyar and adopted combat positions. This time, we'll crush their feeble army and see Your Grace to the doorstep of Randgris. Make it so. Silvaria, you have never failed me in your loyalties thus far. I exist because you exist, one aside the other. You go with my trust. Sir, your grace, you are too kind. I was a worthless wretch before you brought me into the light of your grace's company. Estranged from my parents before I could know them, thrown into that research facility. The object of heinous experiments and deprived of human contact. But your grace took me from that place, raised me to be a human before a Valkyria. And now we're going to put your Valkyrian abilities to use. Then awaken the powers yep. within you. <laughs> I betrayed the trust you placed in me. No, Grace. Once I learned that the Valkyria's powers stir only when the body faces death. I didn't hesitate a moment. I would gladly pierce this breast again, even now. Okay, so in order to activate the powers, they have to be when nearly you dead. Me the shield and the lance from the ruins. I became Valkyria only for you. Still, that seems like an odd condition. You become indestructible at the Never point you're nearly dead. Then, had I thought to feel pride in the other way around, but... blood within me. Now is the time to show the world the power that blood holds. Go forth, Silvaria. Bring victory to my army. I don't think you need an army. Yes, sir. Silvaria, destroyer. Yep, they don't need an army. They just don't. Tanks at zero one five. Gallian forces approaching. Approximately two regiments. Silly fools. <laughs> now feel the power of the Valkyrie. It's um, Showdown at Nagia Part 1, which is probably the only part we're going to do this um, this video, but still. Yep, this looks encouraging. This is a full-scale showdown against the Empire's entire invasion force. Here are the details. Kill everything. 
I shouldn't remember this battle at all, really, but we'll see what it comes up with. Uh, Imperial forces are holed up in an expensive network of trenches. Yep, I see those. We're in the trenches, but the folks upstairs wish in order for an all-out attack. With enemy fire, make your way into the trenches, then commence the offensive. Occupy the base camp. Okay, so we've got to sneak through long-range rockets trained on the area. So there's no land. There's no man's land as well. Okay, so siege. Okay. This is probably going to be awkward. In fact, my tanks aren't even on the board. Still, we're going to go for a point. So, Alicia. Rosie, we're going to go for a sniper or two at the back here. I'm going to put one snipe. Both snipers deployed here, one in each group. And Largo, of course, needs to be there. So, this is Alpha Team, Beta Team. Will consist of Melville. We'll go Jane. We like Jane. Um, Cesare, and I'm going to put down Herbert just on the basis that I think the tanks do have to be here somewhere. In fact, they might have told, 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 me, told me something on this, but let's just. Um... Okay, it's not told me anything. Alright, deploy. It's time to begin the operation. I ask that you give me 100% on this one. We can't even give orders until um, Welkin's back on the board because he's the one who technically gives them, I think. Let's see. Well, here we are, I guess. That enemy camp looks awfully well protected. This one's going to come down to slipping past the enemy fire and into their lines. Lieutenant Gunther! That Valkyria from Barius has been sighted here as well. The Eastern Front is suffering debilitating <laughs> losses to her. As long as he hasn't come here. Are you serious? It's possible she'll head this way before much longer. Keep your <laughs> eyes open. Okay. That has become no man's land. Okay, so we have a... Okay, we've got to basically move all the, all four of these. So we're gonna start with Melbourne. I'm on it. Let's also put the map up here. So we have to cross no man's land in the trenches. Spotted an enemy. Just relax and get it At least done. Got one. An enemy. Oh, done it. Okay. Elite scouts, let's go and kill you for now. We've got the free shots. Scout defeated. Ooh ha! Sounds about right. I found one. All right, let's I march into one. the forward trenches. I need to get beyond them. Cautious. We're really low on health, but I think that's an okay move. Oh, we're still in the we're still in the area of fire here, so I'm going to have to go for yet. it. All right, going straight for the shot. I can kill you. Then I can move out of the area. This is not actually all that easy. I'm gonna have to spend most of my points to get out of this. You're doing well. Just keep it up. I'm not sure this is a good place to be, but for the moment, it is a protected area and it's beyond. Beyond rocket range, I think. It better be. Yeah, but it is. Quite a way out of that actually. I wonder if I can grab that, but none of the other two have that good a movement score. So the rest of this, I think, is going to go down to how well I can move everybody else. And I'm not sure snipers are now the best plan. For the moment, though, let's go for Get Jane. Ready to die, imps. Yeah, in fact, with, the, with where we're positioned, there's no way that's the best play for me to go. Okay. Can I do anything about that? Gatling bunker... It does have a hit point score. You think bullets will stop me? Bullets will not stop you, I know that much. Okay. Get ready to die, imps. Let's move forward onto the upper left then if we can. I think that's far enough, probably. I'm trying to work out from here. In fact the toss is probably impossible, but we'll have a look. See where we are. Yep, we're out of range there. 
Because if there's Ragnite th things around the back there, that might be a really good grab. I'll give it a go. Yes, you will, sir. Should have enough movement for this as well, so... I'm going to move the other way, but we've, we've cleared this route, so we'll take this route. Also, you really do not have a lot of hit points. Out of range. You can repair sandbags, though, which is an interesting enough ability at times. I should have healed you, actually. I'll heal you for second move, because I don't think I've got you far enough. I'll give it a go. That means we've got additional support up here. And you heal yourself. Do I want to try and move on? Can you make it to the far side? Doesn't look as if there's ragnite fuel up there. Don't or is that is that just there on the corner? Enemy over there. <laughs> Darn it! All right, we're just gonna get destroyed if I do that. So I'm gonna move you back spot. deliberately. I think the best thing I can do with my snipers at this point, because there's no way they can see anything, is I'm gonna underplot I'm gonna underplot the snipers. You say so. yeah, there's just nothing you can do from here. Make a run for it. As soon as the So bye bye. And we'll see you a bit later. It means if I do capture the second point, I'll be able to do some advancing from there. This sniper probably isn't gonna be all that useful either. The problem I've got is I know I can't really move many of the people on this side. It's just going to work out badly. So what I'm going to do for my third turn oh, is I'm going to have I Melville move. I'm going to Melville. Go for a heal. And then we're going to do a... We're going to do a move which is probably a good one on balance if I can move far enough. I should be able to move far enough actually. How are you holding up? Can you keep going? Do, oh, this is going to be a problem if I have them stacked like this, but we'll see how this goes. I'm I want to have a go at seeing if I can get a grenade up to. See, I'm already kind of blocking everybody in. How are you holding up? I don't think this has got enough range on it. I've only got the one shot anyway, so I might as well have a go for it. Alright, my hope was that there was something explosive around the back of the um, bunker, but there doesn't appear to be. Okay. The good news is I've kind of knocked them out a little, so I'm going to end the turn there. Save my time unit. I only have six points at the moment. In comes the Shock Trooper. Who has gotten a little shot up. Can I sneak behind me? I'm actually going to try and capture my camp there. Okay, No Man's Land is exploded. New No Man's Land is set, which I think is the same area, actually. Okay. I'm tempted to undeploy and redeploy once we capture this point. So I'm going to start... Get ready to die, I'm going to start with Jane. I'm really hoping I can move you forward. Found one. Okay. Status report, Let me soldier. debate a couple of things here. I could. I right, wish I could see the full map at this stage. All units forward. Fresh meat found. Yep, fresh meat, right there. Mm, scream for me. Die, die, die! And I think he's dead. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Found one. Now, that means run, I can capture the go, camp. Go, go. And there was Ragnar up here. Found I missed one. it. Fresh meat found. Unfortunately, I can't. Until I explode that, I guess I can't capture it. So that'll be her job now. Just try to stop me. Let's uh, just move the other side of this just on the off chance. And thus the armoured gun is gone. 
Who are these guys? Camp is ours. And this is an elevated position here, so I could deploy snipers. That's where I've got to go next. Make a run for it. As soon as the next volley ends. And I can see a lot of enemies from that position. A lot of enemies. But for now, I think the next move is Melville. Okay, I got it. It's gonna be something like this. So long. And we kind of wish the grenades did a little more damage, but that's fine. Up we go, up we go. Make good use of those trenches. Thinking I should probably be thinking other things here. We'll leave oh, Herbert really and we'll go. actually have a go at trying to kill with Herbert at this point. Because there's only anything else to do with him at this stage. You might even manage it from here. Three shots or one headshot. I think I'll hit ya. <sighs> I'm tired. Well, you've done a good day's work so far. I just need to find out who else is back here. Now. Oddly, there doesn't appear to be anybody back this way. So I'm gonna position you there. I have a feeling this is gonna be harder to take than it looks. On a move now. Oscar's gonna undeploy. And that gives me two deployment points if I want to put them here. So what I think we need. We probably don't need Jar. Just just pointing this out, we probably don't need him, but if they do have a tank there, that gives us somebody who can deal with that. What I'm gonna go with is Shock Trooper at this point. Let's find one who's actually not too bad about things. Uh, shut in, Country Bear, Panicky, Born Leader. Born Leader, I think, is. There's gonna be quite a lot of people nearby, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go Edie as well. Next, I'm gonna Get do Jane to die, and Imps. see what I can do with you. Actually, it's very far, but the fact that I can see people is interesting. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move you up and I'm going to move you up and over and round. Where are you? Where'd you go? Right, so that's as far as I can really put you. I really hope you don't end up being shot here. I think the third I'm thing we're going to do is we're going to deploy Melville back down and round this way because we didn't actually go. Spotted an enemy. Yep. Ah! Flip. Help! I'm. Oh, we found one! Squad roster's full, and I can't really do a lot else here. I could move her, but I suppose, but it's a bit risky to move him there anyway. And Jane's really out of points. Get ready to but die, we're still going to move Jane. Because that means now I can actually get a move with her at this point. Grenade. It's a bit optimistic, this one. Very optimistic, but at least now that they're not gonna, I'm not gonna have Jane accidentally shoot Herbert while she's there, and I'll save a point as well. I'll run Herbert back round if we need to. Back comes you. I kind of think you do wood actually. Need to recapture the flag. That's annoying. Counterfire. That may not have worked out for you, actually. And income people down the trenches. Oh, 
Point blank scout elite is going to die here. Now. I'm not actually too worried about this. This is actually... Well, that's annoying that he dodged, but you know. In comes that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to recapture the point, but we're going to start. Yeah, we lose all our reinforcement requests, which is a darn shame, because it's going to put us back a turn, this one. Alright. So, to start with... I'm on. Where is he? I have to move there, because otherwise I'm going to shoot um, Alicia. I'll help too. But I'm um, dead now. Probably not much point in moving on, so I'm just going to end the turn there. We've at least got that position covered off. Second most important thing at this stage, I need to kill. Yeah, yeah. And that'll be Herbert's yeah, job. Do. We do get support here. Okay, okay, We're firing. Herbert has earned his second kill. Better happy he's about that. I'm tired. I'm in... Next, we're going to have to send you Get ready to up die, to deal Ince. with that guy. Found one. Fresh meat found. Good news is he's not actually behind cover. Mm, scream for me. Secure So we got the point back. Next. Just keep up this pace. Come on, up you go, over you go. Fresh meat found. Camp is ours again. Camp confirmed. Keep the pressure up. Next, we're gonna run this way. We'll run Herbert round to go and grab um, things there, but we are going to deploy from here, like we did last time. Jean and an Edie. And I meant the yeah, fact that we lost some yeah, command points. Got it. I can also deploy a new scout actually from um, from putting you back in. Uh, medic. <laughs> Sorry, I just Sit I just tight. love the guy. Cuts almost there. All right, Melville's evacuated. Okay, but this is the the now where you Start are running. going to find out some problems for us, aren't you? Found one. Yep. Easy, There's an elite trooper out there, and I severely doubt that's the only problem we've got. I think I'll hit you. Probably won't, but at least they're not going to hit back from that range. So I'm going to to hold that position there. We'll deploy a new scout. We'll go for Ted. Get ready to die, imps. He's not facing the right way, actually. So what I'm going to do with you? Fresh meat found. Let's try and work out how screwed we are. That's how screwed we are. All right. So. Running close. Alright, to kill two shots. To kill two shots. And I think I can get both of them. If this works the way I think it does. <laughs> but bullets don't scare her. Unfortunately, we've used that, but it is unlimited. I think I can use that again. Get ready to die, imps. And if I can, I can grab this camp. Double kill. Flaming Fantastic. death! Everybody. Occupy the camp. Sir, we've occupied the Midway camp. Good. That means they can't call in any more rocket salvos. And Welkin and Zack now arrive. Ah, so here you oh, are. Oh no. How have you been since Barius? Oh no, the Valkyrias arrived. <laughs> I need to pay you back for that defeat. 
Lieutenant, the Valkyria appears to be making her way to our base camp. <laughs> it's too dangerous to confront her directly. What are your orders? All right. Continue your attack as before. If we take their base camp, she may fall back. It's a race to see which of us can capture the other one's flag first. You probably can't stop her, but sending a few tank rounds her way may slow her down. There are dips and divots across the field. Hide your tank in those and snipe at her. Understood. We'll try our best, Captain. Okay. The door's open, and thus we can now get to... Wonderful work. Please continue as you are. I'm going to have to move you to there. I should probably consider retreating you, but for the moment, that's you set up. So that's what I've got to take. There's a tank, trooper elite, and now I'm kind of regretting that we didn't have... Yeah, we already filled out the roster, and unfortunately people are there. So that's where she is. I'm tempted to move the shamrock back. I could do with killing that as well. Entering combat. Hostile sighted. All right. So Savaria is probably not going to be affected by this whatsoever. Um, let's see what else I have the option of doing. I can try for the cannon bunker. Though I'm more likely to kill it if I do something that looks a little like that and hit the thing that's on the back. Huzzah! That's not a bad turn, actually. I can live with that. I'm just retreated. The, um... Any movement from the front should... Which not going to be a bad place for me to go, actually. First, I'm going to sort of shuffle to the side a little. I know you're back there. Get out here! Okay, I've got to kind of stuck on the sand, but that's fine. I'm just trying to get a mostly... A as as the next ends. There we go, there's the arc. Alright, let's see how the turn four happens for us. Reinforcements. Die! And the Galleon tank is killed. We didn't have a Galleon tank as far as I could tell. But in she comes. Uh, is that what that woman's capable of? We need to proceed with extreme car. That means our, it, our A team is kind of stuck, but we'll live with that, I think. Okay, some of the younger have wounded, but running off. Not too fussed if we get Simma killed, actually. I think I'll Herbert to cover this position off in this. Yeah, that kind of works, actually. So he moves forward, gets shot at. Well, we'll take a bit of damage from that, but... You never know. It's not an insubstantial amount of damage coming back. She's almost within range of... Um, being machine gunned at this point. Which is now going to happen. Die, die, die! Though not a lot of damage, admittedly. And here's where we wish we got, um... Here's where we wish we waited on these. But at least if I've got Jean up there, I can actually kill the tank off. Right. I think what I'm going to do for this, then... Is we go ED first. I'm at the top of my game. Super damage. I need 55 shots to kill, but I'm gonna jump in and cover. All right, four shots to kill. Yeah. Darn it! All right, just grenade. We're just gonna grenade. It's the solution for now. That's as far as you can move anyway, just about, so I'm not too fussed about what we lo what we lose there. T 
head. Yes, she will try at us. <laughs> we know that. Will this work? I imagine this will work. Bye bye, Sim of the Younger. Thank you, thank you. Man down, everybody be careful. We are quite appreciative of that. Up you go. Right. Don't you die on me. We need to Please. we need to basically grab this point then, really. I'm getting pushed around here, help me out! I think we don't want to stay there. Just a just a fort. I think mean, that's a good place for us to stay. There are three shock troopers. The ladders at the back. I think we can attack over ground to there, but that's not necessarily a good plan. Especially as I've got to go through a tank as well. For you, sure. John, let's get moving. Torsion, you have the least. You don't have the super effective weapon that we did have available. Can you heal Edie? I never asked you to. Oh, we still did. Stop complaining. Okay. So let's get Jean into position then. Probably gonna take your Jean a couple of turns to get there, I think. We'll exploit a couple of um, jumps over. Yeah, so we're not going to be in position there to take out that medium tank. Once we deal with the medium tank, everything else should get a bit easier for us. It's just getting that point. And because of get that, I'm going to run Jane this. and um, Ted over and under. So attacking the camp directly seems a bit silly. So we're going to go this way. Don't stop once you leave the trench. There might be other troops down here, though, of course, but... But this seems the better way of trying this. Elite trooper, though. Four headshots needed for a kill. This could be the end of Ted. It's the end of Ted. Everyone's a critic. Indeed, they are. Okay, so that means I'm going to use Jane as another turn me. from Jane here. Uh, I could hit you from here, medic. Mid-range skills is an interesting one. I'm... Jane is becoming more and more the go-to person at this point Those in the um, series. If only because she's the only person in front there. But if you've got mid-range skills and your accuracy is good enough for it, I'll take out that trooper, and then we'll deploy a new scout. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Any more people down here? Be ready for an ambush, soldiers. Okay, Jane is fine there. I'm going to leave Jane there. That kind of makes sense to me a little. I will need to move Edie to sort of cover things off, and we will definitely need new scouts. We're going to deploy... We're not deploying Nancy, because every time we deploy Nancy, I something bad you. happens to Nancy. So... I'm at the top of my game! You are at the top of your game, and this guy is gonna die. So I don't have to worry about him more than anything else. Yeah. In fact, I might even keep Edie just back there, just to try and distract anybody get. who thinks they can attack this direction or not. Yeah, I like this as a plan. I'll just keep Edie as the sort of extra cover. For you, sure. John? Kind of debating this one, but I might have messed this up. We'll see. Yeah, we'll need one more move for you. Basically trying to move him to the back as well, because if we can get John all the way to the back, you got it, where the tank's currently facing, that gives us a shot at the, um, the radiator. Undoubtedly going to need. Goodness is, we are crouched there, so it should be safe from Silvaria and others. In the meantime, give it a go. Herbert, be all you can be. Save the mission. Do your nation proud, soldiers. 
do that too. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough movement to make it across with you, so your Return job is fire. to cover position there. I could have healed. I should have healed. I also have orders. I've got to remember I've got those again. So they have yet more reinforcements. And I really should probably have shot something at Sylvaria. No. Okay, it just absolutely destroys the shamrock. Sorry. If that's game over, I should really have um No Zaka's just retreated. Okay, so I have to fire at Silvaria with the Edelweiss this turn. In the meantime, I think my scout the scout elite is going to be Pondering moves. Okay, Herbert is not in a strong position there, but it's better than it could have been. Think I hit you. So he's doing equivalent damage. He's under. He's got cover. The other guys will not. There's going to be a few of these guys, I think. And that could be Jean dead. No, Jean's okay from that. Well, that's only because of the distance, I think. I imagine, though, there's going to be a few of them. Goodness, how hope it's going to stay alive for this. <laughs> In fact, actually, with, the, with them there, it's going to be really awkward for me to make any advances with any other people. But they are moving their defences away from the base. If I can get Jean away. Okay. First and foremost, Entering combat. we have no choice but to attack Sylvaria. And because we have to hit her, most likely, I am going to advance. I know we got good accuracy, but I'm hoping that's all I have to do there. Otherwise, I've got to win this turn, and that's not likely. I suppose I could damage boost with viewers. Jane could do this all, actually, if she's got enough movement, and she might do. Oh God, there's mines everywhere. Darn it. Okay. Quick, dive into that trench. We're not moving. So I need Herbert here now, because he's the only one who's got the tool to remove mines. That is evil. Okay, the only way I can get out of this mess now is with Edie being amazing. Take the stage. Win. So we have three targets there. The Scout Elite is probably the weakest of the work crew you have to worry about here. The Trooper Elite there is probably the one we have the most chance of being able to deal with right now. Uh, need backup. Very, very helpful. That's what you get. And we need to make three attacks of Edie, hope that all of them kill, because we need to move Herbert with his own move the across to try and deal with some mines. I'm at the top of my game. And super damage. Meaning I kill him one on Yeah, yeah, we go with this. Uh, need backup. I could now make the run. That's what you get! But we're gonna do this properly. In fact, I'm gonna move. We're going to be Melville and go with the grenade shot here. And then we're going to hope we don't need extra moves on this. Boom. 
man down. Everybody be careful. Okay. Up you go. Be sure to watch for return fire. Spotted an enemy! This is unlikely to be very successful here, but now, run! Go, go, go! Oh, that's an interesting move I put put on Charge! here. Charge! It wasn't the fact you're not the ass <sighs> Quick, dive into that trench. I can do nothing from here, but this is an awesome position to be in. There's no damage boost in the world which will make him able to kill that tank. If I can move Largo into that In fact, Jan. I think I've got enough movement to do this. You got it, hon! John might have enough movement to do this, in which case I can kill this guy. Charge! Charge! That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to do it in one go. Darn it! That's what I was worried about. I'm surprised that didn't happen anyway. But good night. Ooh, feel my muscles. <laughs> Double tank damage. And Melville helps out by just firing some guns at him. Okay, area cleared. Sorry, honey. Man down. Everybody be careful. Now I have to kill two guys this turn without a grenade. Edie out of movement. If I can move Herbert there, I would be get them. They would both get a reload. And at that point, I could use my um, grenade again. Yeah, yeah, got it. Herbert, you are about to be a hero. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I don't know what effect that's had on him. Oh no, he's not going to do... I can do nothing with Herbert this turn. I'm hoping it still reloads. I'll find out if I get close enough to any of them. Yes. It still reloads. That means... We're still on. Okay, I got it. Okay, we're going to go with this. And we're going to aim it... Can I not aim it? Okay, I can aim it on your head, but I want to aim it in such a way that I can do this. And I've knocked you both out of position. Enter. I believe they can now take that camp. Okay, I got it. I'm unstoppable. We're a trooper killer, so we have bonus damage to them, and we're gonna go for the kill. Uh, got it. Need backup. Yes, but I'm gonna try something else here. This is suicide. Yeah, yeah that was never gonna work. Herbert has now got one job. Help! I'm. But I don't think he can do it. Oh, if I had command boost, I could make this work. Herbert's got 58 hit points. Jean's got, got more. It, Miss Medic! <laughs> and immediately goes to the Medic. I think we've got other problems like the machine gun that's pointed right at you. I'm going to use Herbert as a human shield here. Watch me use Herbert as a human shield here. <laughs> that might buy me just a little distance, but I think that might be enough. Miss Medic! The ridiculousness just of this is just longer. cracking Almost me up. Please, honey, you gotta help. But victory chips <laughs> and an enemy occupied camp. That was yeah. I've done some silly things in this game. That's yes. going to top We've it, I think. We've occupied their base camp. Ugh. Those Fools let them through. Fine. It's a mere delay. We've made a good start of this battle. His grace will be pleased. But yeah, we have no way of dealing with her. Sir, the Valkyria appears to be retreating. <sighs> We're saved. We are. Lieutenant, excellent work out there. Sending that monster back was a salvation for us. But eventually we're going to have to kill her. That said, our side has suffered heavy losses. They are the clear victors of this first round.
we even get the A rank for that? That desperate charge at the end, sacrificing a turbot, calling the medic out in twice in the space of a few moments. We get a new medal as well. I think I'm gonna stop this here. This is a two-part mission, is but she? some kind of monster? Yes. That's a Valkyria's real power. Ooh. We were able to occupy their main camp, but took massive losses. Alicia, we can't hold it. We're undermanned. We have to call for additional troops. Right. I'll go gather the rest of the squad. out of here. Come on, boss. Gotta move. Bring Alicia. Alicia! Oh, dear. Aside from anything else, though, you've got the tank commander. Leader of their forces clearly in the tank. You have him victory. line of sight, dead to rights, and you pick Alicia. Why? Maybe we'll find out. But next time, episode 14, Loss Within Victory. Until then.